used cars rigged with rolled back odometers. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusen discovered San Diego is one of the worst cities when it comes to sellers deceptively lowering the mileage on the vehicle that you think is a screaming deal. And buying a car to save cash can actually cost you money. Yeah, it can change the value of your car by several thousands of dollars. You might think that odometer fraud went away when those old little spinny versions on the older cars went to the digital version. If you think that, you would be wrong because some experts believe going digital actually made it easier for people to switch. And you can push both of these forward so you have more leg room in here. I mean, these are nice vehicles. Jorge Parra sees the value in used vehicles. I wanted a car like this. Like most San Diegans struggling with the high cost of living here, Jorge knows how to stretch a dollar, and he's good with a wrench. So he jumped on an online ad for the perfect used SUV, one that could help transport all of his grandkids. But I got it. Uh, I paid 5600 for it. A steal, really. The few thousand miles on the odometer didn't bother him. It only had 85,000 miles. But this SUV is not the first one he looked at. Jorge says he checked out a few, including one where the mileage seemed too good to be true. The odometer said 102,000. He said it had 102,000. Jorge test drove it, popped the hood, and knew something was off. I could tell because I've worked on that MLs, I could tell that it had more than 100,000 miles. Okay, so I shut the hood and I said, you know what? I'm going to go home and run a car fax on this. Turns out the SUV's odometer should have read. 200,000 miles. Obviously, he had a rollback situation and it was fraud. He's, and I think that people need to be careful. They try to gain a profit from a buyer. Paul Smith is the area commander for DMV investigations. He's an expert in spotting rollbacks. Nowadays, with everything being digital, it's just a matter of fact of them using computer systems themselves to roll back these odometers. So Smith says in some cases, the scammers just switch out the old odometer cluster for a new one. So they're not changing how the mechanism records it. What they're doing now is just changing the actual number. According to Carfax, nationwide, there's 200,000 new cases of odometer fraud every year. California leads the nation in the number of vehicles with an odometer rollback. When you're buying any used car, you should do three things. Take the car for a thorough test drive, get a vehicle history report, and have a mechanic inspect it. There are giveaways. Check for wear and tear on the inside of the vehicle. Look at the seats, brake pedal, and odometer. And ask yourself, does it seem appropriate for the miles being displayed? If you have doubts, check the Carfax. And if it's any different, walk away. Jorge did, and it saved him from becoming a victim. And Jorge has actually run into this more than once, if you can believe that. DMV investigators want to know if this has happened to you, so if it has, please let them know. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Adam Rakusen, Team 10.